Game three of the Stanley Cup final tomorrow night, which means we've got three burning questions for you, down from our regular five, but we're trying to stick on theme. All things, all eyes on game three tomorrow here in Edmonton. So, number one, outside of McDavid and Dreisaitl, who most needs to break through for the Oilers? Zach Hyman? Zach Hyman. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you bummed <laughs> that they took your answer? Zach you can have the same answer. Uh, Evan Bouchard. After last game, that's a good one, Evan especially Bouchard. on the power play. Huh? Yeah, and I, bomb. he's capable, but I think he was just a little bit too frustrated last game and, and lost himself a bit. But he'll regroup. There it is. Okay, that's it. That's the, that's, that's the answer. The that's the answer. <laughs> you know, what about Hyman? I mean, the Hyman, the Hyman one, more. he's been they, neutralized. They, they want to feel. They want to feel and look like they have at all different junctures of the season in the playoffs. And Zach Hyman is your leading goal scorer, so yeah. to get him on the board would be like feels. Like, life is back to normal a little bit, doesn't it? I think those things go hand in hand, though. You get Evan Bouchard going a little bit more in the power play, get yep. him moving a little bit more at the top of that power play, It's gonna he's going to command someone to come out and check him. It might give Zach Hyman a little bit more space, or he might get more pucks down towards Bobrovsky where Hyman can finish him. So part and parcel, Bouchard and Hyman. Well done, sir. Ooh, all right, question number it. two on the Florida side of things. It hasn't always been guys lighting it up that we'd expect on their side either. In fact, Matthew Kachuk has been held off the score sheet entirely for four straight games. So the question that we have is can the Panthers continue to win without Kachuk scoring? Yeah, if they, if the top two lines keep neutralizing the top two lines of Edmonton, they have a better chance of winning. It's just the way it is. You kind of said it, Bar if you said it in a roundabout way. With if Barkey averages a point a game, they'll win. That's because they'll be net even with the top line of the Edmonton Oilers. Kachup, if Hyman's not scored, Bush isn't scored, Leon and Connor aren't scoring, they have the chance to win. They have the advantage, Florida Panthers, even if their top two lines aren't winning. So, yes, this is where depth is is tested and this is where the team with the most depth can win if again right. if those top guys are canceling each other out and these guys have been doing that how deep are you how much how how effective are your, are your third and fourth lines and your four five and six d you've seen i mean you've seen lois Ryan and you've seen evan rodriguez who's been up and down in lineups throughout his whole career he has that skill you've seen you know the fourth line guys anton lundell oh, he is he's, right, he's a top six player on every yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's, yeah. he's yeah. fantastic and yeah. unbelievable. Been banging that drum for three years now, <laughs> waiting for him to really break out. He's, he's arrived. He's been fantastic, um, and that's where you're going to get your goals from. Same thing. You yeah. Said, okay, no, I mean, they, yes. no, yeah, yes. no, Matthew. Hey, that, that's the kicker, though. They have been this good, and that guy, a hundred point guy, hasn't really looked like himself. Yeah, Rhino. It's scary. I mean, it's Rhino it's, either. It's scary, and at some point yeah. they'll break through. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Third and final burning question for tomorrow's game three. How much will home ice and this electric crowd benefit the Oilers? I think we have this a This crowd's going to be electric. Oh, do we? Hey, yes. Yes. It Finally. It sure is going to be electric. And I'll tell you this much. this Their record may not be completely lights out in the playoffs at home. Because I think whether they're like three or something or five, six and three, yeah, five, whatever. It's not, five not like... Three. It's not like insane, yeah. right. but you no. know they need this crowd. Yeah. And I, I'll be honest, we say this a lot, but I, in different markets and in, in different Stanley Cup finals, this crowd might be, they need this, like they need this crowd. Yeah. They need energy because that's all been sucked away from them from the Florida Panthers. So, I mean, this crowd's going to be a <laughs> lean into them. Say like, like, <laughs> say like, can, just, hey, can we do this live? They, like, in they, need, to be, they, they need to be the loudest but I, I want him to finish with that. They okay. need to be the loudest they've ever been, and I expect them they will be. So, Boiler, take it away. Just blow the roof off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you changing it up on us? Blow the roof off. <laughs> Place is amazing.